To use Perusal as a student, uh, you'll need to go into um, your Blackboard site where the Perusal assignment is. There'll be a link and you'll click on it. It will open up the Perusal website. You may need to uh, register for the course for Perusal, which would either be with um, one of these accounts here or you can use your Middlesex email address and then create a password including your name then you will need to log in uh, tell it you are a student and enter your access code which will be given to you by your professor I will have one here this will bring you to the uh, website where the documents are as well as your assignments. So as you can see here, it will tell you your due dates. And if I click on this and open it up, it will open up the reading assignment, which I can then uh, read through. And as I need to make notes, I just highlight what it is I wish to talk about. And it will bring up, let me highlight this a little better. It will bring up a place where I can put uh, my quotes or thoughts or questions. And I can type them in here. If it is a question, I can actually change it to make sure that it's highlighted as a question. And then people can then answer my quotes and or my question, uh, whether it be a student or your teacher, they will be able to see this information for you. And the same goes for images. If it's an image, you can choose that you wish to highlight an image. It will allow you to highlight it. And now I can write my thoughts about this picture on, in this case, it's a slide, but it could be in your textbook or uh, whatever might have been added. I can go to the read the comments in all conversations and I can see what everybody has written so I can not only participate in by making and annotating but by responding uh, to other students in my class um, and actually perusal will grade you based upon the number of um, annotations you make and their distribution throughout the reading. I hope this was helpful um, and thank you for watching.